Thank you. Let's Time back on. Let's wrap up. Welcome to Gus and Gorney, uh, the rebrand. 2021. Episode two of the rebrand, which is exciting. New year, new us. It shows that the rebrand has is, is, uh, sat well with the powers higher up. Yep, we're back. Haven't been cut yet. Haven't so. been cut yet. Um, and we just squeezed in this fortnight. We said fortnightly over pre-season and it's been a big week this week. We struggled to fit it in. I oh, know, but the people have demanded we find time and uh, here we are, Max. Correct. Uh, first things first. We need to talk about yourself yes, and how you're going. Um, yeah. I'm sure Demon supporters out there are wondering when A. Brayshaw is back and if he's going to line up against Andrew in round one. Oh, he's certainly hoping so. Um, I'll stop talking in third person. Okay. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah, I've been progressing well. I had a um, good week. This, I mean, it's Wednesday, so halfway through. Uh, I'll hopefully train Friday, um, do a few what, drills. What, train with us? Pick a few drills out, some uh, kicking, some running ones, um, yeah, no, I'm doing agility now and doing some contact stuff, so um, it feels really good. So I went, how long till, well, it's the 17th of March? Yep. So, I mean, I've got seven weeks or something like that. And I feel you're joining me training this week? I'll be, yeah, not all of it, not all the... Oh, well, if you're not playing round one, it's a night, it's... it's yeah, a, something's gone wrong yeah, at this point. I feel something's like, gone wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling um, really good about uh, my recovery, so, um, no, it's good. Are I'm you still time. happy with your decision to leave the hub one week early? I think... Get, yeah. I mean, in the end, you've left seven days before us. Yeah. To get a head start on your recovery. Do you feel well, like just it's watch it? Watch that be the seven days that makes a difference. It's actually interesting if you think about it like I had surgery um, just before Christmas and if I had have left it a week later, it would have been smack bang in the middle of Christmas. I'm not sure if Havinda, the surgeon, would have been around doing surgeries then or if he just kicks him back to the new year. Havinda? Havinda. Yeah, Where? H-A-R-V-I-N-D-E-R. And what, what hospital was he out of? Uh, St. Vincent's. I think the go. one in, um, what's that one in Q? You want in Q? You ever been? You've had a few Vimmies? surgeries. St. Vimmy's? St. Vincent's. Maybe St. Vincent's. Yeah, I, I, I think that's I, what I, I just said. I there. Yeah. yeah. I reckon you may have. Um, no, so, yeah, if it, if I'd have waited another week, then it probably would have been in January that I had the surgery done, and then it just, it's a butterfly effect, Max. So Correct. here I am, I'm feeling good. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about the end of it for me. Can we talk about you for a second, yes. uh, Skipper, again for 2021? Just a round of applause. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's harder to get re-elected in my Just ask opinion. Donald Trump about that. Yeah, yeah, um, yes, and well, I uh, went for a similar campaign. Yeah. Um, no, I, uh, I, yeah, you get a little bit nervous, I suppose, coming up to the day knowing that everyone's going to vote again. But I'm the same person as I was, and mm. um, I haven't really changed anything. So I'm presuming if they like me 12 months ago, they'd like me again this year. This and, this show is a huge fan of democracy uh, as opposed to communism. I think we established that earlier on. So it's yeah. good to see the democratic process win out and the worthy captain. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm. I'm not completely schooled up in what democracy and communism is. I well, think, okay. I think it's one of my weak points. Politics. Uh, it's less politics and more just um, basic ideologies. I think uh, yeah. communism is when someone's in, like, it's more of someone's in charge type setup. I don't know. Do we want to take? Is this a political podcast? Well, now? you're talking to Mac Horton last. Oh well, yeah, time. Mac Horton, because um, the Chinese are communist. Yeah. The communist state. Yeah. And, uh, so and let's just say some shady operations going on over just there. Just be careful saying that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and I will just reiterate, democracy, everyone gets a vote. So everyone gets to choose who they want to lead and we chose you. So All right. congrats. Uh, more things that are happening in Melbourne land that will quickly tip off. Tip off? I don't know who we... Well, I don't know I'd what rather say tick. Here. I think the tick word off. I want tick. That's um, all right. It's a vortex in there. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, is we're going to speak to one of these players later on uh, in the podcast and Lily Mithen. Mm -hmm. But the girls had a win. I did. And a comprehensive win. Well, comprehensive is a good word to describe it. I uh, thought it was a round one, great way to start. I'm sure they would have been nervous. Uh, and they I was, was worried. Really strong performance. When well, yeah. Tex Perkins was coming out of the square duking them, and I'm like, we've Clunky. let Tex go. I know. And I know. she's duking the, them. Every Melbourne supporter probably thought that at, at one point. Uh, a great start. She was the, the hero. She was the Doesn't one in the final. The she game, was the though. one in the final that almost won the last mm. quarter, and we got rid of her. I man, need to talk to Mick Stanier about that. A wise man once said, uh, it's not how you start the game, it's how you finish the game. Correct. That really counts, and I think a comprehensive victory for So the, we'll talk to Lil we'll about that and about Tex. down. Um, one more thing that we did during the week, uh, we had a 2020 game. We did. Sorry, yep, I'm, um, and I'm we, with you. We, we left the last podcast with a bit of a cricket flavour. We did. Um, we didn't really know. Did we talk about the T20 game? No, because I, 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 I don't think it was 100% confirmed. So we, so we had City v Country. Yep, for those who don't know, 
City. We're obviously both City boys. In yeah. fact, two of the closest, more City boys. Yeah, we're right have. in there. Ed Langdon probably at the top of the tree. He, he grew up in Turak, but he geographically... Lives in, he lives in like a penthouse in the CBD or something, doesn't he? Well, yeah, I think he used to. He's in Fitzroy now, but we, um, which is still in the city. He's a metro man. Uh, we would be second and third sort of closest. You have moved out of the metro now, but oh, are at heart a metro man. Country, yeah. um, but um, comprehensive victory. Comprehensive win to the City boys. Sponsored by uh, the Squash. great man, Jack Watts. Friend of ours. Of City, one, another friend of the podcast yep. uh, we the city boys wore his shorts mm-hmm. uh, his squash squash board shorts board, oh. board shorts that's all right that, that some cases they, they are, are broad. broad they are broad they in co- some they, cases they cover, they cover many images yep so look uh nervous i was so i was elected vice captain of the um cricket team which you didn't mention after i mentioned your captaincy which i yep, thought was a little bit that's, but that's okay. okay so but we had a tough week at the selection table brayshaw brown uh who else did i miss langdon there are three or four outs from our top order that um, could have potentially cost us. So but I, I had to come in at three. Dawn's coming at three. Morne Morphe was coming at three. But um, standouts, I want to pump up Source Baker. Oscar uh, Baker, City boy, Brisbane City. Took middle and, li- uh, middle and off and really just dug in for the, for the troops and yeah. made some, I think it was 40 runs. Not out 40. Not out 40. Sam Wiedemann was electric with the ball. Off Almost sh- too much. We well, were having fun and he was coming in off 20 steps and <laughs> really seeming them in. I think there was a few bruises. Yeah, James, he rattled James Hunt early <laughs> with a real jaffer. Um, and Jaden Hunt in the field. Some oh, of his took work. the best catch. He actually said catch. to me, pre-going out to the game, he goes, all I want is just to be able to take a spectacular one-handed catch. I'm like, mate, people don't go, go for a whole career yeah, yeah, without yeah. doing that. Exactly. And he got one. Nailed it. And a run out as well, which was huge. Direct hit to the stumps. Yeah. Um, that's I want to thank the great people down at the Sereno Sereno Cricket Club slash Sereno Football Club that were able to help us out for Noble. Anthony Ring was a great man there and we had a good barbecue. Tom McDonald, Charlie Spargo and myself uh, did some spit roasted meat. So big shout out to those two as well for uh, that was, I think that was, I don't want to say a highlight because, uh, you know, um, the Metro boys won the game and I'm very happy about that. But the meat was, I don't know what your thoughts on the meat were, Max. The meat was delicious. Actually, some of it was a little bit undercooked, but there was an issue with that. Um, Uh, And we talked about it. Don't need to be spoken about on the podcast. Uh, Can't please everyone, can you? Uh, We do want to talk. I've got a gripe. Okay, go. I'm happy to gripe. I've brought in a coffee machine. I don't drink coffee, so you can't be angry with me. To Casey Fields, there's... Oh, every now and then we get a mobile coffee van that comes in and and people are able to order some coffee out in the car park. But I've brought in a coffee machine. and, And I'm... I'm a snob. I'm pretty high up in the coffee world in terms of snobness. Um, and I've got a pretty good machine that I brought in. Very manual. You've got to grind it. You've got to milk it. You've got to tamp that milk. What am I milking? You've got to tamp it. You've got to do your own milk. Um, I, and there's, yeah. and there's no auto time off. So like, this is boring you, but when you're, when you're pressed to the pour, it pours and then you've got to stop when you think the pour is done. So you've got to have a good look at the colour. Anyway, Sounds long story short, I've brought a one kilo bag of common folk beans, which is... Are they good uh, beans or uh, are they common? They're folk. common. Okay. Uh, common folk is the place in Mornington. Unbelievable. Relatively local, although I'm another half an hour So it's south. not a particularly common bean. It's a good no, bean. it's a good bean. Okay. Uh, Misleading name. One kilo. That's a lot. That's that a lot? lot? How many? That's a lot. You're having 30 grams in a coffee. Okay, so that's like 33 in a big coffees. Is it? Well, Yeah. It maybe is. maybe having 20 grams of coffee. 20 grams of coffee. Anyway. 50 coffees a bag. 50 coffees a bag. And how many have I you I bought had? it in Monday. I've had one. Bag's gone. <sighs> that hurts. I'm, br- I'm going to bring in a dollar tip jar, I think. How much is, I mean, how much is the coffee bag? Uh, 25, 30 bucks. Not too bad. That's not... I think I'd make money out, out, out of it. You probably would. Yeah. Which, well, I mean, you are a businessman. Yeah, so maybe it's a scheme we look into. Friend of ours, East End Wine Bar. For uh, all your wine bar needs. <laughs> yes, we do love East End Wine Bar. Friends as well of ours. As we love Barbie Onions. Friends, Absolutely. Great friends of ours. For all your Barbie Onion needs. Uh, quickly, we want to touch on what happened today in match practice. Uh, yeah. Well, how about you start? Because you were the star of the show with that uh, post-siren for the win goal. Which so I'm notably find. not... Great after the siren. Well, in general, I would have thought there's been some misses of yours that you wouldn't be proud of. So someone heckled me the other day. And mm. yes, I did type my name into Google, but I followed it up with goals and behinds just to see the stats. And someone said, I can't hit the side of a barn. What's the, the, the can't phrase? Can't hit the side of a barn. Yeah, I think some, is some, some country No one said it to phrase. me. I don't actually yeah, really I don't know. even know what a barn looks like. I'm in the city. Mm. Um, city boy. And I, I went back at the stats and I'm, I'm 60 goals, 48 or something. So okay. I, I, I obviously can hit the side of a barn. You can, yeah. No, and I think... Kicked yeah. it in the middle You've of the just big had some stick bad 60 ones. times. Your bad ones but look bad. But I've missed some bad ones. 
Um, they just take off sometimes. But I went back and slotted one from notably the hardest pocket at Casey Fields to kick one from. Yeah, that was. Um, I was sitting up in the grandstands watching. I'd finished all my work and. Let's just say, I'm not going to name names, there was some doubt as to whether it would be going in, but I uh, had my full faith and sure enough delivered. The boys were pretty excited. Uh, it was for the, for the win. Yep. Uh, I think It that, was the win. We were behind. Yeah, Four I know. You were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was good. Um, standouts, I've been watching Jim Jordan and Tom Sparrow pretty closely in those match sims and they are coming along in leaps and bounds, so it's good to see That's them. That's your spot. Well, yeah, it is. I mean... I'm going to have a hard time getting back in if they're yeah. playing the way they are. So, yeah. But I think that's good. We don't have a heap of people in Rehab either, so... Uh, competition for spots will be tight. Correct. How? Right. Um, what about you? Who, who impressed you? Uh, multiple people. Harry Petty, yep. who we found out was actually sick and not injured mm-hmm. by speculation. He told yep. us okay. that he was sick. I thought he was injured. but So he's oh. back and playing great football down back. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, I gave a pump up to the four key forwards the other day, but they're all flying. Charlie Spargo looks good up forward. Charlie Spargo, Alex Neil Ball and Kaziah Pickett. Yeah. They're the three names we want to look at. Mm. They are on fire, and I feel for Toby Bedford and Kay Chandler and Aaron Vandenberg and Nathan Jones, guys that are going to play through that spot because it's a tough spot. Mm. That's seven guys that are, and Kay Chandler's in red hot form he's as well. In Korea. Bedford Korea. Look, looks like he's in. Chunk was best on ground today. Um, so that's, yeah, I mean, we're I mean, flying we're all, basically. There's a lot these of fluff fans. here. There's, there is a lot of fluff, but this is the fluff time. We're yeah, in, exactly. You want to know about it? Yeah, that's why you're Speaking of fluff. Okay. We've changed this. Sorry. I can't just chuck in speaking of fluff. That's all right. Depends on what. <laughs> speaking of depends fluff. on what you're transitioning to. Speaking of fluff, we've changed the Eddie Langdon segment to yes. sort of pump him up a little bit and, and be a bit more fluffy, friendly, um, positive. So let's quickly go to the the song. Okay, there's two songs. I always get this wrong. It goes a little bit something like this. It's Eddie Langdon. Yeah, yeah. Segment. segment. Okay, nailed that. Um, Lingers. Injured, as I alluded to before, uh, could go either way. Um, not invest into the team. It's a very much a team field down at the Metro squad. Yep. Um, or just pull right out. And Sorry, what did I say? The, the first option is invest in the team. Second option is pull out. And he yep. not only invested in the team, but was down on the sidelines, adding plenty to the boys and integral in our... Ed Langdon. Ed Langdon, the same yeah, right. one that... Uh, only talks to Tomlinson, historically, was <laughs> yeah. down on the sidelines. Well, have I got one for you after Encouraging this. the team. For me? Yeah. Okay. I've seen him speaking to someone else, a young player. I saw him going through vision yeah. after training with Fraser Rossman. Oh, the young winger. The okay. young winger. That makes sense. Talking him through a couple of little tricks of the trade. Well, that's, uh, we love Lingers, and yeah. that's two pretty. Uh, uh, that's some good feedback for him. We should give that to him in person. It's all positive. He's, he's only positive... Uh, reinforcement for Langers from now on. Yep. So no, he and he and he is training very well as well. Super Beautiful. fit. He's a great runner, and um, yeah, all positive stuff from Langers. Straight from that high, we go to an almighty low. Are we going there? Is this what's happening? Are we doing this now? Well, no, because before I, I'm gonna we're gonna get the news. Are we talking about the same? Yeah, okay. We're gonna get we're the news from Gibbo. Okay. Um, and he's got some great news regarding our new uh, profile picture slash uh, animation picture. I don't know what the word. Maybe if Gibbo can speak up now because he's on air, he'd be able to tell us. I was waiting for a proper introduction, but I'll speak up now. We did tease it last week, but uh, Ricky Walker from Sports Berserk, Sports Berserk. has done the uh, new graphics. So How bad is it on a scale little, of 1 to 10? The My people head. that are watching will be able to see it right now. So. Are our heads similar size? Uh, yeah, they're, they're Well, pretty- that's... You do and have a similar size head yeah. to me. Mine's Mine, more in proportion, Yes, because you're taller. Yeah. Proportionalities. Yeah. Doesn't really do have we done the measure face. before? What are you, 60? I think I'm in the 60s. I'm definitely in the 60s. Yeah. That might be a segment next week. Get a, get a tape measure out. But no, those graphics are looking great. You did a, did a very good job. My role in this podcast has become a little bit redundant because you two keep trying to break news yourself. And, and you talk about injuries. It's interesting. I, I, I'm sort of restricted in what I can say. I don't just talk fluff for no reason. It's because I'm trying to keep my boss happy. I'm trying to keep the coach happy. I'm trying yep. to give the fans a little bit tough job. And then you come out here and just say whatever you like. So you guys, I guess, are entitled to do that. He's saying a lot of words here. He's going hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, all right. That's I'll right. keep rolling up. You, Please. You let me talk about the JLT, which you called it. It's actually yep. the Amy Community Series. Is it really? Yeah. Good on you, Amy. just this year? Was JLT uh, last yeah, year? Yeah. And so, when was it Wizard? Uh, that was a long time ago. Okay. I was barely watching footy at that stage. Uh, but no, so Amy Community Series, that game's changed. We're no longer going to Perth. We're playing on Labor Day. Yep. Um, so Do you know what Monday, date Labor Day is, Max? I know what date 
Do you know what it is? It's Labor the 8th or the 9th. Well, I'm presuming Daniel Andrews gets a day off or... Probably. I don't know. I honestly actually don't, don't know that one myself. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> we don't get a day off. We'll, we we'll yeah, be at Marvel playing. Stadium. Uh, 3.10 against the Bulldogs. So, um, Mon- 3-10. Yeah, a Monday afternoon game, which the roof. isn't your usual time slot. I hope not because the UVs will still be out. But um, yeah, 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 you got I, like I like that. that you wear long sleeves. UVs never at, rest. At, um, at training, I think that's a, a good Yeah, touch. I'm doing a long sleeve thing at training. There's, there's six to seven reasons why. Um, one is I feel like I'm getting an extra skin fold off. Yeah, sweating it out. Nice. Two, I feel like running's harder. So once I take it off, running will be easier. That's a mental thing. Three, I, I like. think marking's harder because my hands are sweatier. So when I take it off, my hands will be drier. Okay. Four, I'm doing this thing like I don't want anyone to see what I'm packing under this under this top until round one. Okay, you know? interesting. I could have the biggest biceps in the world that I've worked on. You're probably for stretching for a fourth there. I mean, look, I... You, you can see pretty much exactly what's under there. You don't know what I'm packing. It doesn't hide. They're pretty revealing. As I could have a sleeve. Oh, oh understood. You have I got a new have a tattoo. I've got a new tattoo. I was going to notice the, the yeah, shape. Yeah, little aeroplane. For those who don't know, Max likes aeroplanes. So I saw fit to defend his own body. So that's the reason why we're the long sleeve. And, right. and five, melanoma. 100%. It's been uh, 13.8 billion years of uh, universe that we've had so far. UVs haven't taken a day off once. So no. they'll, they'll get you. They'll if get you. If you, <laughs> if you let them. Unless, or unless you're a creationist Christian who... How many years have they been? 13.8 billion in the universe today. No, that's scientific. That's written down. Go on. Google. Yeah, well, Google is one thing. Google it. No, yeah. yes. 13.8 billion. Rounded two. It's not exactly... How did it start? It uh, depends who you ask. Uh, <laughs> the, the Big Bang, some might say. Is that similar to the Big Bang Theory? The, uh, the, the show's uh, named after They are physicists a Sort of pl- a play on words Okay In the sense um, But no, we've Max, got, There's more news Yeah there's, sorry There's not much more news There is One more in terms of footy I don't think we're allowed to reveal That they're the date of the other practice match. There is an unofficial one oh, okay, that we, yeah. if you check your emails, we, d- we do know when it is, but oh, I'll, once again, program. I'll reveal it when I'm allowed to. Okay. So okay. sorry to the it, fans. It, it, but I'm pretty sure we can reveal one thing. It's against a Victorian club. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's uh, <laughs> probably got something to do with the whole COVID no flying. There's one for you. Uh, okay, we do have one more, Max. Now before. we've got one for you, Gibbo. Uh, yeah. And it hurts. It hurts us. Because it's one of our own. Look, we said new podcast, new us. Positivity, uh, friendship, Yep. Um, you know, we like to, you know, you might, we might never have said this, but we feel like, you know, we've given you a leg up in this world. We, you know, you're on the podcast. We're, we're giving you a chance. Got me sacked from the last podcast. Like, but, but I, I know by numbers that this podcast was one day away from getting the cut. Hundred percent. And then Gus and Gorney have come in. Well, Gorney and Rick came in first, and they said, "No, Gus this, and Gorney was first. This isn't going to work." Gus and Gorney <laughs> was first with Deborah Brayshaw. Then you somehow then we sunk down. Decided that Rick was the logical next. So we've step. potentially saved the podcast in a way. Yeah, we've given you a job. Uh, we've you know with a hand that feeds you, and we do have some audio uh, from the Lily Mithin podcast. And you're going to, you're not going to lie. This is going to be hard for you to sit through. This is is an honest feedback session. This is what it's like when we sit down and talk about feedback. This is what it sounds like. Episode two of Lil and Ben, the Flowerpot Men. Lil, any feedback from episode one? Uh, Yeah, a few people liked it. Um, Mads, you listened to it. um, You'll soon learn is our guest today. Um, She had some very positive feedback. I heard your grandparents liked it. Was that the case? Yeah, they preferred it to Max Gorn's podcast, which is a, a good win for us. Yeah, you were saying, and I agree with you, theirs is too long. I yeah. think we've got the upper hand on that, yeah, on th- them. There's drags. I, wow, yeah. see, it wasn't that bad until the final <laughs> sentence. There's three things I don't like about that. <laughs> okay, and I'm, I'm going to hand it to you. I want to do this in order of increasing severity, of disdain <laughs> for what I've heard. First of all, Lil and Ben. She's the talent. She's the talent. It's not the Max Gorn and Gibbo Should show. Should be the Lily Mithin Gus show. Gorn and Gibbo show. It's a Lily Mithin show. It's, a, it's definitely the, and we'll, and we'll ask her later. We will, and that's something that I've got at the top of the, the list. The second thing is, uh, the disre- I would say disrespect, open disrespect, yeah. Max Gorn's podcast. Yeah. I mean... That's clearly forgotten another member of the on podcast. On purpose, I feel yeah. like. it's not. The but m- was that his grandma that was saying that? Or was well, that it came out of his mouth. Yeah. I don't know if his yeah. grandma and him sound identical. Maybe they do. I'm not going <laughs> to... You've got to, right you, get a right of, you get a right of reply. Uh, and thirdly, and probably oh, for me, Max, the most yeah, the, that's, painful... Uh, yeah. An open besmirching of what we, you know, we're trying to build something here. A positivity. It's a new year. It's a new us, and you've slagged us off on a different show. I feel like Lily was closing it, and he added yeah. one line for oh, no just have to get reason a at all. You have to come over the top. It's like a marking <laughs> contest. Someone comes from four deep and just clocks 
someone in the head. It's just, not, I wouldn't say it's on. It's not, so it's not we, we'll give our sort of verdict after we get a right of reply. Oh, I think you, because uh, I'll be honest, was tossing up not giving you a right of reply. And I know if you... You were tossing it. up taking the podcast off site today. Yeah, we're going off site. We're driving yeah, that's, home. That, that's how much you've offended him. <laughs> Who's Max, he was, and don't, don't worry, Max was going to follow. Uh, <laughs> but you do it. We've decided that you can, you can talk uh, about maybe some explanations as to why you said the things you said. My gut feel is we probably won't listen, but I just want to, I just want to hear. My gut feel, yeah, look, it's a, it's a good gut feeling. Go on, Gibbo. There's what a bit, to, bit to get through here, starting with the name. So, uh, Ben the flower pot, man. Yeah, naming a podcast is hard, mm. uh, as you found out. So it was mid last year, I sent a message to Lil, we needed a bit of a rebrand and I thought Lil and Ben the flower pot, man, sent that as a joke, little graphic with our heads photoshopped on the um, on the Flower Pot Men. It was a great TV show from the early 2000s and she liked it and that stuck. So tick that box. That's why the name is that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the, calling it the Max Gorn podcast was probably a bit stiff on you, Gus. But, Utter um, uh, blatant you have, disrespect. You haven't <laughs> included me in the name and I'm on the podcast, so I won't include you in the name. Uh, the, you? The, the third point... Mm. Um, Don't go to Max for support <laughs> because you're on that side of the fence and we're on this side of the fence. These podcasts have been going, what, 45 to 50 minutes? Every now and then a 37 pops in. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many people have the time to sit down and listen to the whole podcast. Well, I'm not sure what your nana's up to in terms of how many minutes <laughs> how she can spend on podcasts, but we're getting plenty of feedback on the golf course. Yeah, well, look, I mean, is, uh, at times like this, I ask myself, is the whole army out of step or is it one disgruntled soldier? Well, we put it this so way. Much- Podcast is almost done if this isn't an issue because we get Lily Mithin in, yeah, we so do the interview, the and we haven't had to address this. Podcast done in half an hour. Couldn't agree more, Max. I think, uh, which I know. think would be the ideal time frame, but here's we are anchor. still talking, and the it, anchor dragon <laughs> it, it goes on. So. so here's what's going to happen, Ben. Uh, you've had your right reply. I'm not super uh, pleased with what I've heard. So what I think we're going to give it to the we're, we're going to give it to the podcast in uh, our the, family, the listeners, the our listeners. family. Um, we actually you know care about each other, Ben, uh, despite what uh, has been been made blatantly apparent uh, by you. <laughs> So what we're going to do is going to throw it out there to our dedicated listeners. Yep. And if you think that Ben's new segment adds enough to warrant a, a second chance. Because yep. we have got a lot of hands up mm. of people that want to read the queue. news. Can I just say, breaking news isn't as easy as people may think. So I'm more than happy to give people a crack, but it's a tough oh, well, well, It's, it's out a of tough your hands. Paper. What happens here? Um, <laughs> well, it's, it's, he, he, can vote. Vote. he can vote. Yeah, he, he can vote. Uh, yeah, I guess he probably can. Well, there's so. two. There's the Gibsons. There's yeah, him and his grandma. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> two. so there's two. So we need more we than two. two. We, right we have to vote. <laughs> so vote. We have to vote. But no, that'll, um, that'll come out when it does. And um, in, in any case, whichever happens, I hope we learn something here. Uh, yep. It's a teaching moment. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a positive we're a family. Outlook. We're a family, right. and you just don't say those things. Well, thanks for being a thanks for being a good sport. Now you were a poor sport a couple of days ago, but thanks for being a good sport today. I'll see you in a fortnight to either record the podcast or actually. No, 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 no. We've actually outsourced. Uh, yeah, that's we've got all well. our bases covered. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll take a break and we'll come back with Lil. I just need to collect myself, so it'll be probably a minute or two. Thanks to our co-principal partner and podcast sponsor, Zurich Insurance. For over 100 years, they've been insuring the people and things you truly love. And just like you, they truly love footy and they truly love the Ds. All right, welcome back to Gus and Gorney. Uh, that was massive. And w- let's hope that the, the listeners out there Get behind me and you. <laughs> Look, we, uh, I, I don't want to ask them to vote off Benny Gibson, but some, you know, as I said, we're a family. Some support would be nice. We're clearly upset. And uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, this is, this is brought to us by our great friends at Zurich. Yes, good um, friends of ours. Also, Barbie Onions. Yep. East End Wine Bar. Squash. Squash. Clutch & Co. Golf Apparel. And Arnott's Shapes. Arnott's oh, Shapes. we didn't get to Arnott's. We'll have to get to that at a later point. Another week. That's fine. That's another right. week. Let's welcome in our guests. Fresh off a round one victory and close to best on ground if Paxman wasn't out there. Maybe they would... I'll give three to one and two to the other and they can chuck it up. Yep. Um, Lily Miffin. Lil. Hello, Gorney. Hello, Gus. Nice to be here with you. Good to see that you added Gus because yeah. someone forgot Gus. On oh, your uh, I think on purpose. So anyway, we'll, um, we'll, we'll do you want to go? Do you want to go straight there? We'll hop, skip, and jump straight past that. Lil, at the top of the um, <laughs> top of the list of things I wanted to ask you was about um, the name of your podcast. Obviously, uh, Max and I had to come up with a name, which we've done. Uh, we rebranded, so we understand that there's you know a little bit to it. It's not as easy as it seems, but. I heard a rumour that you wanted to roll with the Lily Mithin podcast. Is that correct? And then Benny Gibson's jumped in and suggested maybe Lil and Ben would be a better uh, angle for the fans, a bit more appreciative of his work. So is that correct? Is there any truth to that? 
Well, you've cut up pretty rough at someone just calling it the Gorney podcast. So clearly I would never do that to my co-host in Ben Gibson because we're an absolute dynamic duo. And Ben deserves all the credit he deserves. So, Which is how much credit exactly? You're just talking absolute nonsense, Gus, and you know it. Lil, uh, look, I, I respect uh, someone who's standing by their fellow podcast day. I won't, I won't push any harder there. Um, how much is he paying you, Lil? <laughs> that's what real <laughs> podcast is. Like, um, <laughs> we just had a blackout. That's all right. Blackouts all happen. Right, um, no, so round one. How uh, We both watched the game. Max has um, given you three votes. I did give him to Paxman, probably off the back of that reception I just got there. Yep. Um, I got a real hiding there, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Are you going to ask a question here? How or? was it? How did you find the round one? Obviously, there's been a bit of a build-up. Um, and what, you flew in four hours before and we hadn't seen around a little bit. How was the whole experience? Yeah, well, I'm sure you always know that the whole COVID restrictions on game day have changed a fair bit. So getting up at 6 o'clock for a 3 p.m. game was something that I'm definitely not used to. But, uh, yeah, four hours before the game, I was thinking, how the hell am I going to fill in my time doing this how how many phone rolls can i do but um a little home home makeover show uh killed some time perfectly so um and that was a good little warm-up and um yeah it was nice to get the win on the board which which show uh Gorney wants to know what home renovation show that you're into um dream home makeover on netflix very american you know when you just look at houses and you go that's an american house it was almost like like your movie set and it was all right so you actually went out of your way. You went out of your way to watch a, you went Netflix. You actually chose it rather than just seeing it on like a Channel 9 at 2.30 in the Arvo type setup. Well, you'd think that's probably, yeah, it wasn't Luke Darcy's show. Um, Has he got a show? Yeah, he's got one. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> um, was it, it was hot, yeah, in Goldie? Yes, probably. It was hot. It was what super humid. And I think, uh, Early, low 30s humid um yep. but I, we stitch ourselves up because we went from airport plane um bus into like a function room mm. and we hadn't been outside for like eight hours and then we walked outside and we we're like oh my god it's way hotter than what it is in an aircon room of 18 degrees so it was uh it was pretty hot. was that sports science david regan's decision Probably. He's got some weird things. I don't know what he's doing half the time, but um, yeah, if anything's you question, you just put it down to him because I'm sure he stuffed it up along the way somewhere. For those that don't know, unfortunately, COVID has uh, taken the football team slightly apart, the programs, but we have a couple of people that cross over. David Regan in sports science is one. Great man. Great man. Uh, Great. Stephen Solvator, who's yeah. the head of our trainers. He crosses over. Kathleen, who's one of our physios. Sakajan. Uh, and I, I would say, oh, and Daniel McPherson, who's 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 the boss of both 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 teams. And Ben Gibson. Uh, no, uh, he doesn't. He doesn't have much uh, to Lily, do over Lily, here. Actually, I'll just, before you keep going any further, Lil, <laughs> you're barking up the wrong tree <laughs> yeah. with that sort of chat. So let's segue into something. You know, uh, let's talk about a couple of standouts outside of yourself and 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 Paxi uh, McNamara on the wing. Uh, pretty sure on debut. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there, Lil. Um, looked like a little star out there on the wing. Um, runs all day. Do you have a little update on... Did you know she beat Paxi in the 2K entire trial? Well, that's Paxi's... No, see, that's frowned upon, isn't it? Yeah, like, it was It was almost disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised you know anything about disrespectful, <laughs> based on that. Um, and can we say that Tex Perkins was good? Is that is it too soon to say she played started the game really well, or...? Lil, I was getting worried. I was getting worried, Lil. We were worried early. She started like a house on fire. She reminded me of that of the of the last five minutes of that final that you guys played, and when Tex started turning it on, and I'm like, oh no, we've let her go to Gold Coast, and she's turning it on. Oh, she's so good. She's just so hard to stop, and her leg is so good. But no, she we didn't let her go to the Gold Coast. She wanted to leave, and I don't know why. Um, Todd Panison clearly didn't do his job properly. Pardon. But we did wow. not want her to go. Did you say sorry? Can I just jump in? Is this a common theme on your podcast where you just go after heads? <laughs> you want heads to roll? Like at first it was, you, you know. Pew, pew. Is that... Yeah, you just pick them off. Pick them Isn't off. Isn't that what you do? Yeah, no, we're a friendly podcast. We uh, pump everyone up. I don't think we've ever said a bad word besides maybe Lingers early days. And a little bit of gibbo every now and then. But that's to keep him honest because of the speculation. Oh, truth. Yeah. Uh, this week, talk to me, Richmond at Casey. Yeah, you going to come? Casey Fields, first home game. Yeah, it is the first home game, and Saturday's looking like a relatively good day. You don't want a bad day down at the fields. 
Well, I don't know what it's been like for you boys training out there every day, but every time we've trained at um, Casey, usually each Saturday morning, it has been such good conditions, no wind and just pristine. So I'm hoping uh, for something similar come Saturday because uh, uh, the uh, deck is in such good nick. That hasn't happened once. Hasn't um, happened once. We've, <laughs> actually, we've actually shifted our match play to today up from Friday so that because uh, it's thunderstorms Friday or something like that. So we've had a, a not as quality run as what it seems. So like is this going to be able to be watched on YouTube? I hope so. So Ben Gibson's had the camera on my thigh the whole time. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say anything because as I pointed out, I was at pains to point out before, we're a friendly podcast, but... Um... Okay, so it, it's, we're apparently... Yeah, I've been watching it the whole time. Don't worry, I'm, I'm paying you. How does my thigh look, all right? It looks strong. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank you should wear a long sleeve short sense so people can't see Now, we have, a, we have a question, Lil. Um, yes. Uh, who is who is your favourite player in the in the, in the men's team? In the men's team, uh, present company included. In the men's team, my favourite player is is Weedo at the moment. Oh, yeah, that is right. a good choice. Yeah, there's a Great lot of choice. it's just a real Gibson flavour of this yeah. in there. Well, I mean, I. I didn't honestly. I didn't connect those dots as well. I'm, I'm a huge Guido fan myself, but yep. yeah, now it stinks. Now I hate that choice, Lil. And I think you should reconsider not just your own values, but your footballing values as well. Because if that's who you're picking, come on, guys. Well, Lil, we'll, we've obviously had a. Sh I can't pick out of you two. It had to be someone different. Of course, it's you two. You two at the top. We've had a strong relationship since that time. I went on your shoulders in the in the footy show after after party. Sorry, you went on whose? Her shoulders. We had an attempt at me going on a little... Normally, she was on mine. It was very late in the morning. Yeah. Very early in the morning, sorry. Um, and so what, like, just past midnight? I think I had a cracker going on her shoulders as well. Understood. And then Damien Barra jumped on ours. I'm, I'm here. I'm still here to tell the story. So I think that's quite impressive. Yeah. It didn't happen, but... That's, that's five years ago almost, isn't it? Almost. Not enough to get you a favourite player. Um, yeah, not, not enough to get a favourite player. In fact, when I was watching the game... Uh, Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. When was your game? Saturday. Uh, my wife, Jess, actually said, oh, there's Lily. Oh, don't say that. She didn't say that about any other player. She said, oh, my God, there's Lily. <laughs> well, no, Jess is lovely. We've met multiple occasions. We've always had a good chat at BNF whenever we run into each other. Yeah, yeah but your favourite... Your favourite, your favourite wag is Jamie Chamberlain, which is Sam's girlfriend apparently. Yeah, well, Sam's incredibly handsome, so yeah. she is nice. We're going down a vortex, and I don't want to go down. We don't need to go down there. No. And Gus, your girlfriend gives you nothing, so. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> My girlfriend gives you. Have you met Danielle? Um, I what? met her once. At the, I met her once actually at the cafe in Elwood, but. Cafe in Elwood, which one? No, uh, was it the what's that turtle one? At the no, not that one. Little Red Bluff. Okay, well, guess who's getting some strong feedback tonight, Lil, when I go home? She, I saw that she followed Kate on Instagram the other day, and not me, so... That's because Kate and Corey were getting into a personal... Uh, look, Kate, uh, <laughs> Danielle, Danielle will be getting some feedback, and uh, I will follow... <laughs> I'll follow this up. Don't worry, Lil. Um, expect to follow. Check your social media tonight. Lil, we're sitting at 37 minutes at the moment. Um, I know you think our show is too long. I, we know that apparently our show is a bit of a drag. Um, we just want to know if 37 sits okay with you. 37 is pretty good. It was when it was getting like 55, 56 to an hour. Yeah, That's like yeah next time Hamish Blake comes on and telling one of the funniest <laughs> stories of all time, we'll get you on to cut him off and finish the show early. How about that? How's that sound? Oh, I don't know. Lil, if we're ever, if we're ever allowed to meet in person again, will you, will you happily come on the podcast and do a triple threat one day? We're actually looking for a new news person. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm always ready. You know that. We're always friends, don't you? She's jumped in Benny Gibson's grave instantly, yep. so that's good. Well, if, <laughs> that's the, if, if the polls go the way we expect, then we'll see you soon. But uh, is Good luck. Good yeah. luck this week. Back-to-back uh, -back wins. Um, Casey Fields, it's beautiful down here. You're going to, I mean, you've been down here before to see the new facility, but the facility's on fire. Um, and the turf, I must admit, we had a great day today out there today, and the turf is unbelievable. Yeah, it's good. So you're going to enjoy Eden, Eden Zank is, a, is in turf management and she raves about it. So. Wow. What, um, what, what happened to her? Was it just a scare? Yeah, no, nothing. She's fine. She's just really dramatic. She came back on the ground, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Tough as nails, Eden. Yeah, right. Um, Jess was thinking the worst when we were watching it. but Jess doesn't know see. who that is. She yeah. only knows one player. So Jess said right. Lily's friend got injured. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> thanks, oh, Lil. Good Jesus. luck. Thanks very thanks, much, Lil. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Lil. Um, that was good. It was. She's good. Uh, I don't know. The whole program, it's a bad paint because of one particular member, and uh, it's yep. good to know that they're not Maybe all Maybe like we that. could merge the three out of the four members that... In um, any merger, there are some redundancies, and yeah, I think there's and, obviously uh, the first pin four. But that was, uh, look, that was, a, that was a. She's a character, very dis- disappointed because I've had a strong relationship with her since day one. Well, and it's she, broken now, and she didn't even think about my name. Um, that's the podcast, isn't it? Done in forty minutes, um, which is a drive to Casey, and not even. Uh, no, so you can listen. Uh, you, you can put that in. You can, you can listen unless, for the first ten minutes again, unless you give us Nan, and in which case you're obviously too busy. Um, yep. uh, look, we got through a lot there. Uh, yep. There's some going to be some fallout. So yep. when we, you, we you catch may up not next. hear someone who's sitting in this room next week. And if that's the case, it's been, uh, I would say... A successful poll. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So, but uh, thanks uh, very much uh, for for having this chat. Yep. Uh, and uh, I guess we'll see you when we are on the next podcast. That's us. Any snippets there that we can do? Plenty.